In a little less than a month, we will be getting Chapter 5 Season 4, which will be another Marvel themed season. This is confirmed by the 2024 Fortnite roadmap that leaked a couple months ago. Disney was also recently hacked, and that means we could potentially see very early Marvel season leaks including the next battle pass. So with that said, I will be predicting what the Marvel battle pass could be before the leaks come out. Plus, I'm very excited for a new Marvel season. I'm trying to not have high expectations, but the first Marvel season we got back in chapter two, season four was a peak season. I have it in my top three Fortnite seasons of all time. And on Fortnite.gg, it is the third highest ranked season. So there's a lot of pressure on Epic to deliver with this Marvel 2.0 season. And one of the best things about that first Marvel season was the Battle Pass. We got Iron Man, Thor, She-Hulk, Mystique, Storm, Groot, Doctor Doom, and Wolverine. The Marvel Battle Pass is easily one of the best passes that we have ever gotten. So in today's video, I want to discuss with you what I think this upcoming Marvel Seasons Battle Pass could be. We're going to be covering what Marvel characters should be in the Battle Pass, which characters should be the Mini Pass, and what skins should appear in the item shop. So be sure to drop a comment and let me know what Marvel character you would love to see in the Season 4 Battle Pass. And as always, drop a like and subscribe and use code TUNESPIDER in the item shop to support me. Alright, so we are going to start with the Battle Pass, and I'm taking a similar approach with what they did with the first Marvel Battle Pass. So with that said, the first Marvel character I am picking to be in the Battle Pass is Cyclops, the leader of the X-Men. I feel that this choice is fairly popular, especially with the X-Men 97 animated show that released this year. I'm sure there will be people that buy the Battle Pass just for Cyclops. He is a well-known X-Men character and he has been talked about a lot recently because he was a fan favorite in the newest X-Men show and it felt like they finally did his character justice. So Cyclops is my first pick in the draft. My second pick I feel like is going to be a little unexpected, but she is an incredible female character and I think she would be a sick Fortnite skin. So with that said, I would put Elektra in the battle pass. Elektra is a fierce assassin and mercenary and she's also Daredevil's love interest. They're honestly one of my favorite couples in the Marvel comics, but she is a well-known character in the Marvel Universe, and I'm honestly surprised they haven't brought her into the game yet, so Elektra is my second pick. For my third pick, it'll be another X-Men character, Nightcrawler. He is another popular mutant that has the ability to teleport, which could honestly be a really cool mythic, but I will discuss that in a different video. A little bit about Nightcrawler, his mother is Mystique, who was actually in the first Battle Pass, so I think it would be really cool to have her son in the second Marvel Battle Pass. Now the fourth skin that I would bring into the Battle Pass will also be a little unexpected, but I would choose magic. As you can see here, I'm going heavy on the X-Men skins for this pass because there are still so many characters that Epic hasn't touched, and I think we have already gotten a lot of Avengers and Guardian skins. If you were one of the 20 people that watched New Mutants, you would have seen her in that movie and she was played by Anya Taylor-Joy. Magic is a very underrated character that is the Sorceress Supreme of her Limbo dimension. She has the ability to teleport and time travel, and she is the younger sister of Colossus. She also wields the Soul Sword, which would be a sick pickaxe, but also an awesome mythic weapon as well. So I would bring her in as my second female character for the Battle Pass. So far we have four out of the eight skins. So the fifth Marvel character that I would choose for the Battle Pass is Winter Soldier. I feel like he is another character that is long overdue for a skin in the game. He's a well-known Marvel character that has gained a pretty big fan base thanks to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He was a brainwashed assassin until his memory came back to him. Then he joined the Avengers at times, but is also a member of the Thunderbolts. I feel like he's a perfect character to bring into a game like Fortnite, since it is mainly gun gameplay, and he's well known for being an excellent marksman. He could have a mythic gun or a medallion that gives you super soldier abilities, and I think his metal arm would look sick in Fortnite, especially if they gave him the mask look with the longer hair. At number 6, I will be drafting Kitty Pride. She is another very underrated X-Men character, and she was also the youngest member to join the team. She has a phasing ability that, once again, could be a really cool mythic. Similar to the Chrome season when we could go through Chrome Walls, she also has another alias where she goes by Shadow Cat. So we could get two really cool styles from her that will be very different. And because of her Shadow Cat alias, we could get Katanas as the pickaxes, and her backbling could be her pet dragon, 
Lockheed, which would be exciting because we haven't gotten a pet back bling in a long time. We are getting towards the end of the battle pass here, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and drop a comment on the character you would like to see in this battle pass. For the seventh skin, which will be the tier 100 skin, I think it'll be Dr. Doom. And there are a few reasons why I think it will be Dr. Doom, even though we got a Doom skin in the first Marvel battle pass. For starters, he has been teased quite a bit lately, especially by the leakers in the Fortnite community. There was recently a green cape that was linked that has to do with the battle pass. Connect those together, especially with Dr. Doom being on the Fortnite roadmap. It sounds like he's going to be a battle pass skin, but that's also reaching a little bit. But there was also a new Marvel teaser that had to do with the new constellations. And one of the constellations was called Doom, which hints at Dr. Doom again. So there's just too many coincidences. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe he'll be an item shop skin, which would be cool because I don't want to see him locked behind a battle pass again. But of course, this is epic that we're talking about. But with that said, Doctor Doom is one of Marvel's most iconic villains in comic book history, and he played a role in the Fortnite Marvel Zero War comics. It actually ended on a cliffhanger where Doctor Doom wanted to build the perfect society, so he will probably build his own IO type group. And people also suspect he's the Wanderer. I don't think that he is, but I mean, he could be working for the Wanderer or maybe with the Wanderer, but who knows, I could be wrong and maybe he's been the Wanderer this whole time. Now in the first Marvel Battle Pass, they did a comic version of Doctor Doom, but it wasn't necessarily his classic look because you can see fur on the shoulders of his cape. It's really sick, I'm not gonna lie, but they could alternate a little bit to make it even more comic accurate. They could also do like a cell shaded version as well. They also released an Emperor Doom version, but it wasn't comic accurate at all. So they could redo the Emperor Doom version as well. So with all that said, I think Dr. Doom is going to be our tier 100 skin and he's going to be our main villain of the season. So last but not least is the bonus skin. I went kind of the safer route on this one because we have seen this skin mentioned for future leaks and that is none other than the Spider-Man villain, Doc Ock. A while back, it was leaked that we will be getting a Doc Ock skin at some point. So I think a bonus skin is the perfect spot for him especially because in that leak they also mentioned magneto who is our current bonus skin his tentacles would be really sick to use as a pickaxe and back bling like the tentacles are attached to your back but then they're swinging and hitting the trees or rocks i think it would be really cool and another thing to mention with bonus skins is we've always gotten two styles so i think the second style should be the superior spider-man just a quick overview otto's mind was swapped with peter parker's so otto took on the spider-man mantle until they could swap back it was honestly a popular comic run and this would be a cool way for people to get a spider-man skin especially if they didn't get the original spider-man skin from chapter 3 season 1. so that completes my battle pass and i personally love the pass that i created might be a little biased but it is what it is but you're probably wondering why didn't i put any of the fantastic four characters in the battle pass they've been mentioned in leaks as well and they're a very popular group that has not been brought into the game yet and in that key art leak you could see dr doom versus the fantastic four well that's because i have a special idea for them Similar to the Ninja Turtles, Avatar, and Pirates of the Caribbean where we have a mini pass and a bundle released in the item shop, I thought this would be the perfect idea for the Fantastic Four so they're not locked behind a battle pass. Mr. Fantastic could be the mini pass skin, and the bundle sold in the item shop could be Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and The Thing. That way, the bundle could always return at some point, and not every Fantastic Four skin would be locked behind a battle pass. Just a thought, little side conversation, how sick would it be if the Marvel season was the season where they finally unlock past Marvel Battle Pass skins and release them in the item shop for people that didn't play back in chapter two. It probably won't happen. <laughs> There's actually a very high chance it won't happen, but I think that'd be really cool, especially for people that started playing maybe in chapter three or chapter four, right after that Marvel season, they finally have the ability to get like Iron Man and Mystique or Storm. Now, even though we have had a lot of Marvel characters in Fortnite, there are still plenty of characters that have not been released that people are wanting to come into the game. So I'm going to go through a list of characters that I think should come to the item shop during this Marvel season. Like honestly, Epic should just shove Marvel characters down our throats all season, then take a long break from Marvel skins. So the list of characters I think Epic should release in the shop are Punisher, another character that is perfect for Fortnite. Gwen Gwenpool, and no, she's not a variant of Gwen Stacy, and she's not related to Deadpool, 
but I think she has the vibe for Fortnite. Quicksilver and Polaris. They're both children of Magneto's and siblings to the Scarlet Witch, who are both already in the game. Miss Marvel, who has gained a lot of popularity recently. Colossus, War Machine, he is also long overdue to come into the game. And he would be a good skin for people to purchase in the item shop who couldn't get Iron Man, which is why I didn't put him in my battle pass because I didn't want to lock him behind the battle pass. Galactus, since he was the main villain of the first Marvel season, they could do similar what they did with Thanos, where Thanos was in that LTM. He was the main villain in chapter one. Then they released him later on into the item shop. Also, I think a fun idea would be releasing alternate versions of the skins that were released in the first Marvel Battle Pass. So for example, instead of the 616 Iron Man, we get the Superior Iron Man. And last but not least, we should get an alternate style for Gambit, him in a crop top from the X-Men 97 show. Of course, I created a Spider Bundle. Spider-Man is my all-time favorite, not only Marvel character, but just pop culture character in general. So I couldn't help but think of a bundle that they could release in the item shop. For the bundle I put together, this would include Ben Riley, also known as the Scarlet Spider, Cindy Moon, also known as Silk, and Spider-Man Noir. I think the three of those characters would look really cool in Fortnite. And I think it would be a popular bundle. But there you have it. Those are all of the skins that I think should release in the Battle Pass and Item Shop. It's crazy to think with all of that, it still wouldn't be a third of the Marvel characters in the comic universe. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate you. And again, let me know in the comments some characters you'd love to see in the Battle Pass. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.